Hi guys, welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. I'm super excited today. Do you know why? Because today we're going to make this notebook completely from scratch, without any glue and without any hand stitching, only by using our mini sewing machine. Yay! This is my daughter's old homework book. Part of the pages were covered in her writing and scribbles, so I cut those pages away as you can see. The rest of the pages are empty and pristine. I simply cut them out from the binding and then I sliced them in half down the middle and I folded them in half. And then I tugged four pieces of folded papers, one inside the other, to make one signature, okay? And what we are left with is these guys, okay? So these are stacks of signatures, one, two, three, four, five. So every time we work with this method, we will be working with an odd number of signatures. I'll be working with five signatures, as, as you can see, and each signature has four sheets of paper inside of it, okay? So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so for this next step, all I've simply done is I've clipped these five signatures roughly together, okay? I've got a pen and a paper and a ruler. Now, I'm not going to tell you what size of signatures to use. You guys determine what size suits you, what kind of paper you've got lying around, okay? With my signatures, I'm going to take my measurements and that's simply the width and the length. So if I put my ruler across, you can see the widest point is about 11 centimeters. That's the width. So I will write width is 11. It's in centimeters. Okay. At the longest point, it's about 16 centimeters, okay? So I'm going to write length for L is 16, okay? And how many signatures do we have today? We're working with five signatures. So we're working with five signatures today, so N equals to five, okay? Now, here's the best bit. I've come up with a wonderful calculator that will help you figure out exactly how much fabric you need, how much interfacing you need, and what size of cardstock you need, okay? Uh, so we're gonna jump onto the computer now and I'll quickly show you how that works. Okay, so we are in our bookbinding calculator now. And here in these yellow boxes is where you have to fill in your values for your signatures. So my signature width was 11, so I'll punch in 11. The length of my signatures was 16, so I'll punch in 16. And I had five signatures, so I'll punch in five. And here in these purple boxes, you will get all the measurements you need for your fusible interfacing, your cardstock, and your fabric. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut those things out and start crafting. Remember, simply click on the link in the description down below to find your bookbinding calculator and you can get going. Hey guys, so I'm back from my cutting board and I've now cut out all of my materials according to the numbers shown in the calculator. So here's the fabric that I chose for the cover, okay, and I've cut it down. Here's the fusible interfacing, and the cardstock is actually part of the cover of the same notebook I showed you earlier, okay? So we're going to salvage that, and it's going to come in useful. Here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take my fabric, flip it over so that the wrong side is up, okay? And I'm going to take my fusible interfacing. It's got a shiny side. I'm going to place it in the middle of my fabric, and I'm going to fuse it in place using a hot iron, okay? The uh, other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the corners in as well. So I'm going to fold the top corners over like that and press them down. Same with the bottom edge, okay? And I'll repeat the same with these edges, okay? So let me go ahead, do that, and come back and show you what that looks like. Hey guys, I'm back from my ironing board and let me show you what I've done now. Here it is, the ironed fabric and fusible interfacing, okay? The last thing I did is I folded the whole thing in half and gave the spine a quick shot of heat so that I know where that center is, okay? And this is what we're gonna do next. Here's that cardstock that we salvaged from the cover of the notebook, okay? This is the printed side, we don't want to see it, so we have to put it that way with the printed side down. Okay, so here's the midpoint of the cardstock and here's the midpoint of our interfacing and fabric. So we match the midpoints together 
or the full lines. So we're going to clip all these layers together using little clips. You can use bulldog clips or paper clips, anything that doesn't pierce the fabric or paper. And just go all the way around. Okay, so our project has been clipped down. Now let's go ahead and set up our mini sewing machine. Right, so our mini sewing machine has now been set up. Um, I've kept things very simple. So I've got a white thread on top and a white bobbin thread as well. If you don't know how to thread your mini sewing machine, follow the links down below to the P for Perfect method and the Nifty 9 method and it's super easy. And now with our project, we're going to sew a nice straight stitch all the way around, okay? I'm going to match the inner edge of the presser foot with the edge of the project. So as I'm sewing this, I'm quickly removing the clips as soon as I approach them. I'm also trying to go over the corners while pressing down the presser foot with a pair of scissors so that the needle pierces through all the layers of fabric and interfacing we're working with. Also, when the mini sewing machine goes over the cardstock, I press it down with my little scissors to make sure that there are no skip stitches. I did slide off the straight line I was following initially, but it's all good. I managed to finish sewing where I started, and then right at the very end, after I clip the threads, I'm going to knot everything together using a hand sewing needle, and that's going to make sure that all the threads are nice and secure. Right guys, so I finished knotting the ends of the threads we just sewed with. Let me quickly show you. There it is. I think it's looking fairly neat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the edge over onto the cardstock like so, okay? Just finger press it down and clip it up. Okay, so now that these guys are clipped up, what we're going to do is sew a straight stitch just along the top here and along the bottom right there. Okay, and the same on the other side, top and bottom. Let's go ahead and do that. As I'm sewing this, I have to be super careful uh, to make sure that the presser foot is lining up as best as possible along the edge. Also, I had to press down quite hard on the little presser foot with the help of my little scissors so that the needle pierces through all the layers properly. Okay, so the stitching is now done. What we'll now do is pass the threads over onto the wrong side and knot them up and clip them off. Guys, if this video is making sense, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm a new channel and your support is so appreciated. Let's move on. There's a midpoint. So now we have to draw some lines, okay? That's better. Okay, so now we're going to measure two millimeters on either side of this line and make our mark. So, can you guys see that? Two millimeters here, two millimeters there. And then another two millimeters on this side and two millimeters on this side. And now we're going to draw straight lines for those marks as well. They are done. And in case you haven't figured this out yet, those are the lines where we're going to put our signatures, okay? So let's do that now. Okay, so here's one signature and I'm going to open it up right down the middle. Remember, it's made out of four pages, okay? Here it is, open it up. We're going to locate the middle line we just drew and we're going to line up the fold of the signature with that line, okay? So now I'm going to clip it in place. What we've done is we've lined the midpoint of our signature on that middle line and now we're going to go to our mini sewing machine. We just have to sew a straight stitch all the way down the middle, okay? 
you will notice that as I'm sewing, I have to adjust my hand position quite a bit to work around the stack of papers. Just make sure you press down hard enough on the presser foot and go really slowly and you'll be fine. Hmm. It appears to have gone through perfectly well. Let's flip it over. And perfect. Look. No skip stitches, you can see. Okay. This is exactly what we were looking for. Let's move on. And now you can see that on either side there, there are two lines, okay? And we're going to start working our way from the outside to the inside. So we're going to work on the outermost line now. So we take our second signature and line this fold up with the outermost line. Once it's lined up, press down as best as possible. Open it up and clip these pages in place. Okay, so now this signature is clipped down. We're now going to sew a straight line along this pine. Okay, so that's stitched down now. Okay, that's two signatures down. We're going to repeat the same process on the other side. So we'll work our way from the outside to the inside lining up another signature along the outermost line and sewing. Remember, the slower you go, the better your stitches are going to be. So just go really slowly and press down on that presser foot with your scissors. Now we have a gap left in the middle of two signatures. So the remaining two signatures are going to fit inside these gaps. As before, we are going to clip them in place take them carefully over to our mini sewing machine, press down quite hard on that presser foot and very slowly guide that seam underneath the needle. Remember to use both hands if your project is not moving forward smoothly and go really, really slowly and you should be fine. Right, so that's the last signature done. Let's remove the clips. I know right now it all looks a little bit uh, wonky, but it's gonna get better, I promise you that. Now it's time to trim away the extra paper from the top, bottom, and side of your notebook. So just take a nice steel ruler, press down firmly on the edge of your fabric, and slice away the extra bits of paper sticking out. Use smooth, shallow cuts using a really, really sharp cutter and press down really hard on the notebook to make sure that your cutter does not slice through any fabric. The same on the bottom edge as well. And along the sides as well, before we start cutting, we are going to take two bulldog clips and clip the pages together, fold back both the front and back covers and then slice off the extra paper so that we're not damaging the cover in any way. Right, so the final step we need to do now is iron the whole thing down. So I'm going to take this from my ironing board, iron everything out and show you what that looks like. Hey guys, I'm back from my ironing board and look, check it out, the notebook's finished. So all I did is I simply ironed the cover out to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And look, the pages flow beautifully, okay. The edges are nice and smooth. That we cut out using our simple craft cutter, okay. On the inside, the red cardstock we salvaged from the old notebook. It's sitting inside perfectly neatly. And when you open it out, look, notebook lays flat, okay? And you can't see any fabric in the middle. There's card there, so it looks nice and neat, okay? And while I'm showing you this notebook, let me show you another one that I made over the weekend. Check it out. So this was the first prototype, okay? and my daughter took it and kept it for herself 
Um, I stamped a Harry Potter stamp on top and just colored it in. But if you look at the stitching on this one, I think this is far more neater than the one that we just made together, okay? And that's because here, while I sewed two separate lines of stitching, on this one, I simply did a single line. So I folded this over and sewed it all at the same time, okay? But look at that, two cute little notebooks made completely from scratch, no glue involved, no hand sewing involved, entirely from our little mini sewing machine. How cool is that? If this video helped you or gave you any ideas, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm always coming up with new inspiring videos related to your mini sewing machine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!